okay hi everyone so today let's discuss this interesting problem so it says the u.s athlete florence griffith joiner won the 100 meter sprint gold medal at seoul olympic 1988 setting a new olympic record of 10.54 second assuming that she achieved her maximum speed in a very short time and then ran the race with that speed till she crossed the line uh, take her mass to be 50 kilogram Calculate the kinetic energy of the uh, Griffith joiner at her uh, full speed. Fine. So, can you find out the speed of uh, that athlete? Of course, that will be uh, distance upon time. So, distance kitna hoga? Distance is given 100 meter and uh, time is given 10.54. So, from here we can calculate the speed of the athlete. Uh, once you know the speed and mass, mass is also given 50 kilogram, right? So, what will be the kinetic energy? Half of m into v square. So mass is given and speed we can calculate from here we can calculate the kinetic energy. Okay, so option B ki baat karte. Assuming that uh, the track, the wind etc offered an average resistance of one tenth of her weight. Calculate the work done by the resistance during the run. Fine. So resistance force de rakha hai. Kitna hai? One tenth of his weight. Now what is his weight? Mg. Right. So what will be the resisting force? That will be one tenth of mg. Mg by ten. M kitna de rakha hai? Fifty. Right? G ka value nine point eight. Or uh, once we get uh, the value of F, resistive force, right? Then uh, the work done by the resistive force will be uh, that force into uh, the displacement of this uh, athlete, which will be hundred meter, right? So S is given hundred and cos of ang uh, cos of theta now what is the angle between the force and the displacement that is 180 degree so cos of 180 degree so ye hoga? minus 1 so fr into s into minus 1 or fr kitna hai? mg by 10 mg by 10 into s into minus 1 so yahan pe you can you know substitute the values and uh, find out the numerical value for this uh, work done Option C ki baat karte hai. What power a Griffith Joiner had to exert to maintain uniform speed? Fine. So, dekho, uh, ek uniform speed maintain karne ke liye, kitna power apply karna padega? Dekho, ek force lag raha hai, resistive force, right? FR, which we have already calculated mg by 10, right? Now, if uh, this athlete has to move with a constant speed, then the net force on the athlete should be zero, right? Now vertical direction mein toh force balance ho jayenge. normal reaction will balance the weight of the athlete but in horizontal direction it need a force of this uh, equal to the force of uh, resistance right. Ek force chahiye horizontal direction mein aur wo kaun provide karega? Uh, force of friction this athlete will push the ground in the backward direction with uh, a force right and by Newton's third law equal and opposite force will be applied by the ground on this athlete. So wo jo force lagega that will balance this of uh, uh, you know resistive uh, resistive force so jo force is athlete ko ground pe lagana padega hai na wo kitna hoga equal to the resistive force so uh, you know uh, the force which the athlete will apply on the ground that will be again mg by 10 so power kitna uh, you know uh, consume hoga means what power the athlete has to uh, supply or uh, has to consume that is uh, force into dis uh, velocity right so multiply that uh, speed of the athlete with the force so you know speed humne nikal liya tha pehle. so this will be your answer fine i hope it's clear let me know if you still have any doubt we can discuss further okay guys keep working out best of luck bye